Hi guys, so back again. Welcome to my channel, The Deep Seaman. And today's vlog is about how we start the gas firing, how we start the gas, gas firing in this dual fuel engine from the engine control room. So you can see the sequence on the MOPs and time to go in. Okay. So I'm pressing the start button and now it's time to see the entire sequence. The first thing what happens is it says here, the double wall pipe went. That means the system is getting vented. You see which valve opens up. This valve opens up. So this is closed. So this pipe is presently being vented out. This valve is also open. Now it's coming to something called as inner pipe test. Inner pipe test. That means this entire pipe is pressure tested with nitrogen and the pressure drop is observed. So supply from the nitrogen opens up. This one 809 opens up. 852 also opens up. And now we are building up pressure into this system. See, the test valve is closed. Pressure will build up into the system. It will hold there. Once pressure is building up, that means there are no leaks in the system and the inner pipe test is good to go. Speeding up to 15x now. Okay, so we've reached three bar. That means the inner pipe test is good to go. We can see this has closed. The bleeding valve has opened up. That side is uh, vented out. This valve is still, pressure is dropping. You see this test valve has opened up. So the gas from here that was pushed in is being vented out. Now something called as S secondary fuel valve test. Now the GVD will undergo a pressure test. The gas engineer, my cargo engineer has confirmed that the pressure is rising. We can also see here that the pressure is 22 bar and we're going up. This will come to 380 bar. As you can see, the set point is 380 right here. Okay, so let's speed up the process and I'll speed up the video by about 8x so we can see the pressure building up from uh, 0 bar to about 380 bar. Now once the pressure reaches 385 bar, now we should get the signal to these valves to open. So the gas will start moving here across the orifice in the restriction valve. So this whole thing together it is called as 852. 852 the main valve and here we have 0852 which is the orifice or restriction uh, 852 gas comes at 380 bar and slowly right now this valve is closed so slowly passes through the orifice valve 0852 and comes into the gas valve block and builds up the pressure on this side once the pressure is about 380 bar then is when 852 will get the signal to move and move up so once 852 moves up we'll get an open position here and the engine will be ready to fire this happens because we don't want, you know, once this valve opens, we just don't want 380 bar to come here and shoot on this side. This will cause a high pulsation, high pulse uh, with 380 bar and a sudden drop on this side. And hence, we have a restriction valve on that side. Okay, so time to speed up again. Uh, we see the pressure building up right up to 380 bar from the orifice valve. And once it's 380 bar, you see the you'll get a moving signal on 852 and that's when you know the engine is ready to fire let's go so now we're at 380 bar and as you start looking here the fuel load going up slowly this is set here and now let's look at this graph let me pull it back so we can see both the screens it takes a few minutes before the gas actually stabilizes. We need about 17 to 18 percent of the fuel load, I mean of the gas load. So after 17 to 18 percent, we know that the gas will not trip. The blue is the fuel index. So just can you see, pilot fuel is just 5 percent. Your gas fuel, gas load is 62 percent. So your total index is 68. Back here, you can see that the gas is stable and the fuel is also stable. Back again and studying all the graphs, I can see all the units performing pretty good. But I still have my doubts on unit number six. I, I still feel that, you know, the nozzle for the nozzles for number six GIVs are slowly getting clogged. And I can see that I'm getting a pressure drop, but it's not staying for too long. So on my next stop, or I mean my next port, I'll prepare my spare GIVs and have them replaced for number six. Now back to the, the, gas, uh, the gas scope, the SF scope, second fuel scope. You can see each cylinder. The blue line below is something called as window valve. So the window valve opens, I'll explain to you that function soon. So blue one is the window valve opening and closing. The yellow one is your gas channel pressure. The green are the fluctuations. And the red is your peak pressure inside your cylinder. The vertical dotted blue line, that's the TDC. 
All right, that was it for now. It's almost midnight. I'm a little sleepy and I've managed to edit quite a bit. I hope you guys like and learn something more importantly. Take care, good night and see you around.